So today I'm going to be making beef stroganoff and um, I'm going to be using uh, beef tips and what I've done is, is um, all I did was I floured them and I put them inside the uh, tub and I just shook them up and just coated them gently uh, and we're just going to put them in the skillet and they're just going to brown. Okay, so at this point, my meat is starting to stick, and um, which is normal. So we're going to give it a minute and try to get everything to kind of loosen up. Kind of soft a little bit here. Get a little bit more flavor. I'm not using the garlic salt, it's just granule. Oops. I like a lot of, I like garlic. And then we're going to use a little bit of seasoning salt. I've already salted, I don't want to over salt it. But my husband loves the seasoning salt on it. Because I, I always cook the meat up for everybody else. I have to be careful. Everybody likes different seasoning. So, <clears throat> so you just want to make sure all the sides are brown. Some of them are a little bit big. You can use ground beef. Um, I use, traditionally it's uh, chunks of um, beef tenderloin. Uh, beef tips or something like that uh, normally is for uh, beef stroganoff, but um, in the schools and stuff they've done like hamburger and stuff like that. I think that's why everybody gets burned out on it. Back in the day when we were kids they used to serve it a lot. Now I use olive oil. I'm not going to drain my olive oil only because um, I don't mind it in my in the um, beef stroganoff sauce. Normally, you would drain the oil off or whatever you're using, but since I'm using, it, I'm going to use it inside the ingredients. That's what I'm cooking. Okay, so as you can see, um, most of it is it's nice and brown. So I'm going to start adding my liquid. And I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit here. Okay, so what I'm going to be using is, um, it's called for beef bouillon or um, beef broth, but um, I chose to use French onion too. about half a cup of water just to calm it down a little bit and I want that gravy I'm looking for that yeah and I'm wanting the onion flavor okay so this has got a couple different um, things I need to add to it now not everybody does it the same you can make it the way you want however Okay, so for the ingredients I'm going to be using, I need to add some. So I'm going to do three tablespoons of, it calls for tomato juice, but I'm using tomatoes, um, ketchup, 
Um, I, I feel it's just as sufficient. And it says three tablespoons. I don't mind the, the ketchup. I like the sweetness of it. If you want more of the liquid, go for it. I've done this for years. It's always it always works out. I just can't see open. I can't see opening a can of tomato juice or tomato sauce or whatever for it. So okay. All right. So then it's gonna call for uh, one tablespoon of mustard. Now I don't use powdered mustard. I use the my mustard that I have in the house. And it calls for a tablespoon. Yeah. And then it calls for a Worcestershire sauce. And it calls for a tablespoon. Should have enough. Nice brown gravy. Now you can take away or add to however you want for your flavors. Um, everybody does it their, their own way. So this is what we're used to. Um, if I want to dress it up, I would add some red cherry or red wine to this. Uh, just to bring it alive a little bit more, make it a little bit more fancy. But just uh, going to be a regular dinner for tonight for, for the family. Okay, so um, I put a little black pepper in, as you saw. Okay, I'm going to add mushrooms. You don't have to if you don't want to. Not everybody can. Not mushrooms, but I love mushrooms. I like the hardiness of it. And then what I did was... What I did was is I had um, I got some pearl onions. And so I'm going to add the pearl onions into it. You don't have to. It just dresses it up a little bit. And, uh, uh, the pop of the... Oh, the pearl onion is really tasty. I am going to add just a little bit of water to this. It's a little bit more. Sour cream to the beef stroganoff, about a half a cup. 
um, you can add more or you can add less, depending on the amount that you're making. Um, this dish uh, will easily serve about four people. So um, as I was stirring it, I was looking for that consistency of that dull look. So, um, and you can tell it's got that green look to it. Um, it just blends down the tomato sauce and the beef taste, so it's not so um, potent. Um, if you do add um, some wine, red wine to it or a sherry, just remember to uh, add it when you bake it. So right before you put it in the oven, add your wine to it. Um, and I usually would suggest about a half a cup to maybe a quarter cup because you, you don't want the wine to take over the flavor. You want it to blend it in. All right, as you can see, I'm done here. And uh, we've added the sour cream and I'm going in for a taste and it's really good. Where I added the egg noodles and um, and I put it on the bottom and then I put the beef stroke on top. Put a little bit of garnish on top and give it a little color so it doesn't look so dull with the spring onions. Alright, so I hope everybody enjoys the recipes and remember to please subscribe and like. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying them and leave some comments. Thank you. See y'all soon.